You said that you had uncovered things that deeply disturbed you in your research as well, e ethically, I would say. And so, so can you touch on some of that? Well, uh, well, yeah. I mean, so well, one is uh, well, one pertains to some of the sex differences that we've already been talking about. So, just as men place a greater value on physical attractiveness than women in their mate selection, women place a greater value on a man's status and resources. And so, you could say. Well, you know, men view women as sex objects, but women view men as success objects, you know, and so they're both, you know, forms of objectification, if you will, although I don't, I don't really like that, like that term. Uh, and so um, I remember giving a lecture uh, once and I was describing these findings and, and uh, it was a, like, I think a freshman guy in the front row, he was, get, he got really upset by this and he said, you mean, you mean I have to have to achieve at, at, at work in order to be attractive to women. And uh, I said, well, I mean, I guess it's not strictly necessary, but if you want to improve your chances, um, yeah. So, uh, so uh, you know, it, it, it's just as it's harder for people who are at the bottom end of the things that people value, um, and you were mentioning intelligence earlier, but if you're at the bottom end of attractiveness or, or success or status or resources, it's not a very pleasant position to be in. So that, that's one set of things. Another, though, has well, to Well, it's do also the, the, what's interesting about that, too, I, if you don't mind me yeah, saying so, yeah, is that the evolutionary psychological argument actually indicates more deeply the intractability and danger of that problem. Right, because it, that the problem of being at the bottom is so deep that we shouldn't rush to solve it with you know surface level solutions that aren't going to work. So you see, for right. example, very frequently people think, well, hierarchy is a Western construct. It's dependent on capitalism. It's like, wait a second. If you <laughs> want to solve the problem of poverty and exclusion and oppression, and you start that by equating something as profound and deep as hierarchy with capitalism, you're not going anywhere because you have no idea how big this problem is. It's way bigger than capitalism. Yeah. 